Hi, my name is Samantha Pement. Today we'll be focusing on Lee's style, Styles of Love Theory. This was created by John Allen Lee and introduced in 1973 in his book Colors of Love. It focuses on the six components of love. There are three primary love styles and three secondary love styles with nine total tertiary love styles. The three primary is Eros, Ludus, and Storge. The three secondary is Pragma, Agape, and Mania. The three other tertiary love styles is Ludic Eros, Storgic Ludus, and Storgic Eros. This is the color of love wheel, which shows the Ludus, Storge, Eros on the outside, and Mania, Pragma, and Agape on the inside. The outside shows the primary, the inside shows the secondary styles. The first style of love is, for the primary, is Eros, which it can also be said to be romantic style. In this style of love, it was named after the Greek god of love. It has relentless passion and romance in it, and it is usually considered love at first sight. This has an emphasis on physical attraction and sexual desire within the relationship. They can be very committed, and erotic lovers, sorry, erotic lovers with a higher self-esteem is driven by passion, sexual attraction, and excitement. The pheromone, pheromones, endorphins, and neurochemicals are what cause this type of love. The second primary is game playing or ludus love. In this style of love, it focuses on the playful interaction between two people. It can be flirtatious and independent too. The playing, they, us they usually love to play the field as to avoid deep connection and usually have go from person to person jugg juggling multiple people sometimes. They do not follow traditional rules and are usually non-committal as they are very short-term sexual relationships. They do not hesitate to seduce, deceive, or manipulate, and this type of love's connection is usually capitalized on by narcissists. The third style of primary love is compassionate or storge. In this kind of love, it is a bond that is formed between parents, siblings, um, friendships, other like um, styles like that. It is a romantic love and it usually springs from into instinctual affection that grows and deepens with time. Strong sense of friendship and a compatibility is strong in this style and it is a long-term relationship that is usually value valued over a short relationship. The first style of secondary love is possessive or mania. In this style of love, it is a combination of Eros and Ludus. It is can it can be obsessive, jealous, jealousy, and emotional, emotionally intense style of love. Um, this style carries the most negative connotations as an individual can be possessive, um, dependent, intense, and usually is seen insecure in it with a low self-esteem. This uh, love can have characteristics as a person controlling another, stalking another, and having pathological codependency traits too. This type of love can be extremely destructive and unsafe for another person. The second type of secondary love is agape or altruistic love. In this type of love, it is what this type of love is usually what makes people the happiest. It focuses on the partner's needs and offers unconditional love, support, and affection. They are committed to caring for others and are selfless. Um, it is an unforced love and allows people to be patient, tolerant, and empathetic towards others. The third style of secondary love is pragma or pragmatic love. And in this style, it is a love that matures with time and has long-standing values of a long-term relationship. It has both stor Storge and Ludus styles of love in, in it, and anyone in this style has a will usually has a willingness to compromise with a partner as so both of them grow and develop within the relationship. People in this love style usually have 
usually make rational decisions and want compatibility with each other above the, their emotions. I hope you liked the presentation. Thank you for watching.